Do you have any other recommendations for um, oxygen users, whether new or very experienced, uh, to work with their clinical team in order to optimize their therapy? I would say it's important to always bring your equipment with you to, to the, the clinic, uh, your home equipment, so that we can see exactly what uh, you're using. And for patients to uh, bring their questions, you know, a lot of education is missing at the time of delivery. So when you start up your first experience with this equipment being dumped at your door uh, and don't know how to use it or have problems with it, uh, it, it's important to keep in touch with your 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 team. Uh, so in the clinic, the, the nurse, the clinician, the medical assistant, respiratory therapist, whoever you've been working with to get that oxygen set up, make sure you let them know when there's problems. And and also working with the durable medical equipment company, make sure you know who to call and when to call uh, if something's not working correctly. There is time when there are times when equipment doesn't work uh, and someone needs to come in and, and uh, service it. So communicating problems with your healthcare team is critical. Knowing who to call at your durable medical equipment company is critical. Um, it really helps optimize your, your, your treatment. We don't want patients stopping using their equipment because it's too heavy. They can't carry it up the stairs. They can't lift it in and out of a car. Let your clinicians know that, and we will fight for you to get equipment that you can manage. In order to really have optimal use of your oxygen equipment, it's just critical to have a, a good communication when problems arise, knowing who to call uh, on your healthcare team, as well as a durable medical equipment company. Um, so just it's it's really important to be able to use equipment correctly. Otherwise, uh, and for us to know if there's problems, so we can help get different equipment.